Estrella. My name is Gilberto Torres. I'm your English teacher of fourth grade. And today I have the great pleasure to teach about benefits of playing sport. I hope you like it. Before starting this lesson, I would, li I would like to show you a video about Tan Twister. Here you go. A verb is a word, it's an action word. If you can do it, then you do it. If you do it, it's a verb. A verb is a word, it's an action word. If you can do it, then you do it. If you do it, it's a verb. Listen up close, here's what we'll do. I'll say a verb and you say it too. Now when we're playing, when you say it, I want you to do it too. All right now everybody, get ready. Because the first verb we're gonna do is clap. Here we go. Clap, 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 clap. If you can do it, then you do it. If you do it, it's a verb. A verb is a word, it's an action word. If you can do it, then you do it. If you do it, it's a verb. Listen up close, here's what we'll do. I'll say a verb and you say it too. Now when we're playing, when you say it, I want you to do it too. Okay, okay, the next verb we're gonna do is jump. Now remember, I wanna hear you say jump and I wanna see you jumping. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, okay, my verbalicious friends. The last verb that we're gonna do is shake. Now I'm not talking about a milkshake. I wanna see those arms wiggling and those heads bopping. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. A verb is a word, it's an action word. If you can do it, then you do it. If you do it, it's a verb. A verb is a word, it's an action word. If you can do it, then you do it. If you do it, it's a verb. Listen up close, here's what we'll do. I'll say a verb and you say it too. Now when we're playing, when you say it, I want you to do it too. All right, now we're going to break it down a little bit and then speed it up. All right. Let's verbalize this place. Clap, clap, jump, jump, shake, shake, clap, 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 jump, jump, shake, 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 jump, jump, clap, 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 jump, jump, shake, 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 jump. Verb is a word, it's an action word. Now clap, 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 clap. Verb is a word, it's an action word. Now shake, 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 shake. A verb is a word, it's an action word. Now jump, 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 jump. A verb is a word, it's an action word. Oh, yes, a very good town twister. Very good, very good. Did you say? What did you say? Are you there with me? Oh, yes? Okay. If the teacher do it, you will do it too. All right, here we go. A bear is a word, it's a natural word. Clap, 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 clap your hand. A bear is a word, it's a natural word. Yum, 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 yum. A bear is a word, it's a natural word. Shake, shake. A bear is a word, it's a natural word. If you can do it, then you do it. If you do it, it's a bear. A bear is a word, it's a natural word. If you can do it, then you do it. You do it, it's a bear. Here you go, guys. So now it's your turn to do it at home. Yes, so to start our lesson for today, we're going to review some vocabulary words about sport. Remember, soccer, basketball, boxing, tennis, and baseball. But pay attention to this picture. Pay attention. These people look healthy, Strong, energetic, what healthy? Why do they look like that? Because they understand the importance of playing a sport and doing exercise. That's why they are considered fitness people. If you want to look good, if you want to look energetic, if you want to look healthy or in good condition, you have to keep in mind, guys, the importance of playing a sport and doing exercise. So that's why I'm going to show you another video about benefits of playing sport. Here you go.
Kids need exercise. Whether it's hitting the slopes, playing soccer, going for a ride, or playing hockey. Whatever the sport they play, regular physical activity benefits youth in many ways. It builds muscles, maintains healthy joints, and controls weight and blood pressure. Exercise can also benefit children academically. Research has suggested a positive association between sports and enhanced concentration, improved classroom behavior, and improved academic performance. What's more, high school athletes are more likely to attend college and get degrees than non-athletes. And studies have shown that adolescents who play sports are eight times as likely to become active young adults. And young adults with higher self-esteem, stronger leadership skills, and a lower risk of depression than youth who are not as active. Community recreational centers are the hub where many of these beneficial sports activities take place. If you want to support your local community centers while giving visibility to your brand, call Rec Media today. All right, so we're going to see now the benefits of sport mentioned in this video. We have physical benefits, builds muscles, maintains healthy joints. Also we have controls weight and controls blood pressure. That's very important to understand guys. And also we have academic benefits. You see, improve academic performance, smart students. Also, enhance concentration and improve classroom behavior. This is very important, guys, to understand the benefits of playing a sport and doing exercise. So now I'm going to show you another video how to use sunburn with sport. Here you go. Hi, I'm Phil from BBC Learning English. Today I'm going to tell you how we use play, do and go with different sports. So for team sports or ball games, we use play. So I can say, I play football, I don't play tennis. For more individual activities, we use do. So we can say, I do exercise, I don't do judo. Then for activities ending in ing, we often use go. So I can say, I go running, or I don't go swimming. Of course, there are some exceptions, but try to remember. Play for team sports or ball games, do for individual activities, and go for activities ending in ing. All right, we learned a bird that we, we need to use with a sport. Um, the first bird is play. Remember, we use play with team and sport teams and also uh, ball games. For example, baseball. And we have a sentence here, I play baseball. Next one, volleyball. And the sentence, I play volleyball. And the last one, soccer, I play soccer. So the next bird is do. Remember, we use do for individual activities like karate. I do karate. Arabic. I do Arabic. And the last one, exercise. I do exercise. And the last bird, we have go here. Remember, go is for uh, Bears ending in I and G, like jogging, I go jogging, swimming, I go swimming, and Viking, I go Viking. So now it's time to practice. We're going to practice using the three verbs. We have a list of sport here, and what we have to do right now, we're going to organize this or put it with a correct verb. For example, karate. Play, do, or go. Exactly, do karate. Now, the next sport is baseball. Play baseball. Very good job, guys. Next 
Sport, biking, what do you think? Go biking, very good, continue. Soccer, play soccer, swimming. Go swimming, exercise, do exercise. Jogging, go jogging, aerobic, do aerobic. And the last one is easy to you guys, play baseball. So now we're going to review again the benefits of playing sport or doing exercise. Remember, we have two categories, physical benefits and academic benefits. We're going to review physical benefits, builds muscles, maintain healthy joints, controls weight, controls blood pressure, and academic benefits, improve academic performance, improve classroom behavior, and enhance concentration. What we have to do right now here in time to practice. We're going to guess first what the sport is this. This one will be an example first. Oh, it's tennis. Remember, what is the verb for this sport? Play. So now we have to write a simple sentence. I play tennis. But now we need to build sentence using a sport and benefits. And now you will learn that today. We're going to start first with the sport, tennis. Tennis helps me to, and you can add some of the benefits mentioned. For example, maintain healthy joint. You see how easy it is to say and speak in English and say these sentences? Now it's time for you to practice. You need to guess this sport. You need to guess this sport. Exactly. Arabic. So remember, what is a bear for Arabic? Do Arabic. So the simple sentence, I do Arabic. So remember, we're going to start with the sport. Arabic helps me to, and you add one of the benefits. You decide. Control way. You see how easy to speak English? Continue. What a sport is this? Viking and the verb go biking. Very good. Remember, simple sentence. I go biking. So now to challenge you, remember, start with the sport. Biking helps me too, and you add the benefits. Builds muscle. Very good. And the last one. The last one. Easy to you guys. So easy this class. That's why it's time for practice. What is the sport? Ah, oh, yes, karate. And the verb for karate? Do karate. Simple sentence, oh, repeat it. I do karate. That's easy, teacher, that's so easy. So remember, start, you know, with uh, the sport, karate, then helps me to, to what? You put the benefits. Enhance concentration. You see how easy it is practice English? And we build sentence with the sport and the benefits in an easy way to you guys. So now, students, are you ready? Are you ready to do exercise? I have a routine to you doing exercise at home to be healthy, to be energetic. And you can do this routine with your family. Here you go. One, two, three, come on. So guys, this is our new routine of exercise. Remember, playing a sport and doing exercise help us physically and academically. First exercise, jumping jack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
One. You see, you have a routine of exercise to do at home with your family. So put it in practice to build muscle and also academic benefit. So now it's time to homework too. First homework, write some benefits of playing a sport. Easy benefits to you, you know that's benefit. The second one, mention the verb we use with the sport. Only three verbs, easy to you guys too also. And the last one, Write sentences using the verbs play, go, and do. For example, we have here, I play basketball. Basketball helps me to control weight. It's up to you guys. If you want to write sentences, good. But also, if you want to challenge, you say orally, perfect. That's the idea, right? So remember, you can follow me on Facebook. This is my social media when you can contact me or chat me. And giving a special thanks to these sponsors to provide me this opportunity to be here and deliver this amazing class to you and be part of this program. And the most important thing, if you miss any of your English classes or you want to review them, please go to Video On Demand Channel 1, Section RSE, repeat, section RSE, Meduca, and Conectate con la Estrella. It's totally free and available to you. Remember, guys, doing exercise and playing a sport is very good for our health. See you. Bye bye and take care.